Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. Welcome to Evil Noodle Gaming. Welcome back to some more Transport Fever 2. I do hope you're well. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, yeah, it's good to be back on this game. We last played this game probably about a year and a half ago. <laughs> so it's been a while. Um, in the last the last time that we played this game, we done a Just Using Airplanes uh, series which was really really fun to do really really fun not good for my frame rate but very very good at the same time uh, in this series we're going to be using only trains to transport everything passengers the the goods the products everything trains only this episode so everything by trains i guess everything by rail i don't know not i've made my mind up whether it's going to be everything by trains or everything by rail I'm not too sure but yeah this is a i haven't been on this game in such a long time it is absolutely beautiful really 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 nice so let's uh let's come out here we just got a new vehicle there so we'll run through that in a second there so if you haven't played transport fever before essentially you get an island or a, a map like this let's get rid of that and you're ultimate goal is to basically transport all the products people around the cities and stuff like that or everywhere so for instance uh the quarry down here they uh this is where you get your rocks from so that's the quarry there and then over here for instance to make bricks they're gonna need the stones from the quarry so we would need to transport the goods from the quarry over to where they make the bricks and then the cities this one down here this one needs uh, i believe that's tools and bricks so we would need to transport from the quarry to the uh, the brick plant the materials plant there down to the city and uh, they also need machines parts so we would get those from that's a good point where would we get those from okay so over here so this is the tools factory they make the the tools uh but for that they're gonna need the wood so up here we've got a logging plant so we take the logs to the the sawmill and then from the sawmill to here they make the tools and then from the tools we go down to this city over here which was named birmingham uh and that keeps them happy if basically so when i click on the train icon it shows me on the map which part of the city or the town requires what so this part here you can see all the little brick symbols so they're going to want all the bricks and up above they're going to want the tools so that's a little run through of how this works uh, we're doing this with unlimited money normally we'd start the game in like 1850 the year 1850 something like that uh, but we started from 2010 just so we got access to some more of the modern vehicles uh, because we're doing rail only trains only i've added in some uh sort of british themed trains and stuff like that so i'm quite excited for this i'm really excited to be back i have started a little bit just to try and get used to the controls again now we started up here at the moment i've got in a, two trains going from the forest down to the sawmill just to uh familiarize myself with how the game works i'm going to try and keep the episodes to around 30 minutes long this might be a little bit longer because we've done an introduction and uh keep them short and sweet but honestly this game is really really cool we'll probably throw in a couple of special episodes here and there where we might add in a few buses just around the towns because i've added in some custom buses and coaches and stuff like that so it'd be nice to see them about in the game as well so yeah so this is what we've done so far we're transporting from the forest we've got a couple of trains here all raring to go there's the drivers uh, and they are waiting at the station collecting the logs really really long trains here we're just going for long long platforms long trains just to make it look pretty decent 
nest the back of the train there. So this is a custom skin that I put in really, really nicely detailed. So that goes from there over to the, uh, the sawmill, as I said. Uh, these over here are the train depots. This is where we would buy the trains from. And we can add these in wherever we want. So we've got one there, one there. Uh, the little traffic light symbols that you can see, they are... Well, basically traffic lights for the trains. If you don't add these in at the key points, you could have a train coming out and a train coming towards and they just get stuck. So you've got to add in the, uh, the traffic lights into the, uh, the railway system. Right, excellent stuff. Uh, we are good to continue. So I've added this in. Trains are going to be loading up and one's going to be going every minute. The other one's going to be going every two minutes. Which should be correct. So we've got a constant feed between the two places. If we click on here, uh, production is going to be 400, shipment 400 out of 400, and transport is 100%. So that is at full go, basically, full capacity there. And to bring it down to here, production is 200 out of 200. The shipment, uh, they're not trans. I'm sorry, at the moment, I'm not transporting the the goods that they're making, the planks, which need to be transported down to here. I haven't done that yet, so that's why it's showing that there's no shipment uh, being made. So I'm going to need to transport the logs from here to here, over to here. I'm also going to need to bring in steel into this place, and they make the machine parts. And then I can transport the machine parts through into London, into this place. They're also going to need uh, food as well. So we're going to need to get that from this location. Uh, and that is going to need to... So it's going to need to come from the farm, or here actually, to, to, to the, uh, the processing plant, and then into the city. Uh, I thought we'd set up a line over here first and concentrate on getting the goods into the machines factory to begin with uh, and thinking about it I'm gonna have two so I've got two trains on this line I'm gonna two trains come out of here go into here and then I'm gonna have two trains from here go into there yeah that should work nicely so let's set up a train station over here uh, we've already got one preloaded. Okay, so if it glows uh, white, that means it's connected to the, uh, the the factory there. Okay, let's add that in. There's our train station. So we can make this as long as we want. We can customize it, add in as, as many platforms. I think we can add up to like eight platforms. All together and we've got the pylons up above so we can have electric trains as well okay so that's the station added in we're going to need to add in some train lines now uh, so we've got a choice standards or the high speeds we're going to go for high speed and we're going to have that electrified as well okay so the current train lines are running in into platforms I think that's one and two so we can actually click on that this is how we configure it so this is where we can add in more stations onto the the uh the platform there okay so down here is my line manager so i've had to create a line to tell the train where to go so it goes from here which is london down to uh, london north which is down here and this is the uh, the platform number that it stops at when we're down here. So we can select which platform to, to choose from. We can also set a color, uh, what goods we want it to pick up and unload from whatever station we're at. So we've got two lines currently going so far. Uh, this one here is our vehicle manager. We've currently got one train on London logs to sawmill, one train on the the same the same run basically okay so we're gonna need to put in a track now and i'm thinking we run it this side yeah because then we can use this platform over here to go to here i actually think 
I'm going to need two more platforms because I want to run another train line down here to this part because if we look on the map uh, let's go to buildings so London actually needs the machine parts at the bottom of the map and the top of the map is going to be the food so that's not a bad idea let's extend this platform and uh, so we've got it ready for when we need to upgrade so let's add in some more tracks we're adding two more sets and we're gonna need the platform as well cargo platform there not gonna add in oh, not gonna add in any roofs or anything like that I'm just gonna keep it plain and simple so we could add in steps and well we might do like last episodes we could add in extra buildings as well to the um the uh, the train stations so we could add in passenger entrances and cargo entrances we'll probably do that uh in like the special episodes i guess now right, let's get back to the train tracks here so let's run so the, the numbers that it comes up with when we're creating the track is the speeds that the track will allow the train to go. Okay, so let's run it into the middle line. Uh, now I'll tell you what, let's run it into the, the upper line. So we're going from track number two. So that can go into the top one there. That's connected. And then we run a track following this line over here. Thankfully it does join on if we get it to sync nicely. And then it connects into like that. Okie doke. That's, uh, that's one train line set up. It's quite a nice curve there. I, I do like perfection. Quite, I mean, it's not brilliant, but I don't know. I, yeah, I quite like that. I think that looks pretty, pretty smart. Really, really nice. So eventually we're going to add in like Euro Tunnel. We've got the Eurostar in here as well. We have a steam train. I've got a lovely steam train. We're going to have that run through the center if we can. Cross through the, uh, the over the, uh, the river here. Which would be absolutely awesome to see that. Okay, so let's add in some... Uh, I'll tell you what. Let's add in the station down here first. Uh, we're going to need to set up an area where the train can go. Oh, we've got some... I oh, see, these are the vehicles that I've added in as well. We've got the route masters in now. Different variations of them. Really, really, really cool vehicles nicely nicely detailed so yeah maybe a special episode where we can add in all of that stuff okay so let's have a look here then uh we've got the cargo station and we've got the tournaments uh they're not actually going to be going my job i want to set up a train line that goes around so we're gonna have to make all of these uh non tournaments platforms uh, what's the best way to do this? Um, okay, let's have a look at the roads here then. So let's let's join up a road that runs from here straight across. Is that straight? Okay, doke. Uh, we can get rid of that road and let's connect this one up to there like that. Yeah, that's that's gonna work okay oh we got boats as well so we might do a boat series i don't know right six let's uh what we're doing is so we're going two into there we keep four four train lines would be fine okay is that gonna cover enough we're gonna have to add in one at the bottom as well to cover the machines Uh, we've got to cover the majority. Yeah, that should work 
that should work fine so let's add it into there super stuff and then we're going to add in the tracks from here so they're coming into there yeah let's add them in from let's add them in from this angle over here and we're running to the let's run it into the top yeah that'd be fine that'd be excellent stuff okie doke nope i've done that wrong of course i have uh, i needed to bring it into the okay we're gonna have to delete that oh so much destruction okay let's try that again so the top train line into there okay lovely jubbly and that one can hook up there i like doing these types of series it's been a long time it's been a year and something since we last done something like this okay so that is connected up so we can have goods coming from the sawmill into here they're not gonna they're not gonna produce until they get in the steel as well so we're gonna need to think about that coming in and I tell you what we actually might need another platform I think we are where am I gonna get the so I'm gonna need to so we're gonna need ore and coal to make the the steel here the coal we can do fine where are we going to get the ore from up here unless there's anywhere closer there isn't so that's no that's going to need to go from here down to here so it's surprising how you know you think it's going to be easy and it's, it's just not going to be okay let's add in a couple of trains then so we can at least start transporting from here to here so let's go into line manager and we will go <clears throat> let's have a look here then let's create a new line we're going to name that uh london uh london saw mill and that's going to go to uh tools Uh, we call that number one let's add in a second tool line okie doke we'll get that color changed i'm going to keep all the vehicles that want the same run the same color i wish i hope will uh, will work there okay so we've added in the the uh the new lines but we need to select the stations so let's run it from here down to here so that's going to be platform uh what platform is that going to be that's going to be platform three and where is that going that's staying on the same line okay that is fine that is good that's platform number five so london north we are gonna be so what are we picking up then so we are picking up the planks so we're gonna need to find the planks so 100 percent on planks we're not unloading anything from there uh, but when we get to london east we're gonna be unloading the planks let's do the same for this one let's add a station there to there that's done that automatically selecting the uh the train tracks there and the platforms so same again london north we're going to be loading the planks 100 percent and when we get to london east we're going to be unloading the planks Yeah, lovely. That is good stuff there. Okay, let's add in some vehicles to that then. 
Uh, we've had them in from the depot too because that runs straight on to this train track down here. Okay, buy vehicles. So let's go let's go electric for this one. So we've got the UK side of things for the trains. We've got three variants of the inner city train here. Let's click on that. So top speed 140 miles per hour. Electric power uh, 483 kilowatts. Loading speed is only one times. So that's not particularly great. Although passengers aren't going to be getting on that anyway. So we've got different variations that the person has created. Um, to me, they all look the same. <laughs> so let's go. Let's start from the beginning here. Let's go uh, 91001. So we will add that to our train there. And we're going to need some carriages to go with that so wagons so here it tells us what types of cargo that these carriages will take so we're going to need to be transporting the planks and i'm pretty sure this is going to be the one with us uh, the flat car with the side stakes so let's add in some carriages uh, how many of those we got we got one two three four five six seven eight nine 10 let's add in uh let's go for 10 11 12 let's go for 12 to begin with and we have two of those and we buy that for 87 million <laughs> it's not much okay so here are the trains that we've just purchased let's click on that so train three that can go now we need to set a line for that to go on so that's going to go london saw mill to tools number one the way it goes and then train two can go on train two line here they come looking pretty sweet squeezing out of there there's the other train ready to go might need to add i'm just going to make the trains as long as possible i might need to add some more carriages to the train just to make them the same length as the platform i think i'm probably going to need to let's speed this up a little bit well they're saying that that's pretty pretty long So this place over here is now going to start dumping the, the wood onto the platform. And then the train will pick it up. Yeah, so we're going to need probably another three more carriages on that. So let's manage the vehicle. Let's go into edit selected vehicle. Uh, let's do both of these. Uh, London Sawmill. Yeah, okay. So let's go into Edit Selected Vehicle. We can add in some more traders onto here. So let's add in another three more and then modify that. Okay, how's that looking? That is looking spot on for length. I don't know whether this one did. How many carriages we got on here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, okay, this one didn't... That should have uh, added more carriages to that. No, never mind. We will uh, add some more on. There we go. So they're going to be doing their thing as well as the other trains. Let's watch it come into the platform here.
That is freaking awesome. Such a cool game. It just fits onto the platform there. Really, really nicely detailed. And of course, it just turns around when it needs to leave again. But away it goes. That is awesome. So we got the lines set up from here. These are collecting the woods. That's going down to here. And then we've got trains going from here over to here. Uh, so this is going to be not doing anything just yet because we still need the steel. So that's next on the agenda for things to do. Uh, let's have a look at that then. So steel, we are going to need to grab it from here. So we're going to need coal and the ore. Okay, no worries. Let's grab ourselves a station over here then for... Uh, how can we do this? We're gonna need we're gonna need six platforms on this one. I'd like to have as many trains as possible. That's the whole point of the series. So let's add in six train lines to here. Okie doke. Uh, down this end, let's add in a terminus. Uh, but we're only going to need two platforms on this one. Uh, where can we put this one? This. Nope. What if we can get away if I can add in a an additional road or something to this? I wonder whether this would work. How close can I get that? That should be okay. Let's get rid of this road here. So we can run up along the edge of this. So that connects. You can see the paths where they're where it connects paths to the building. Okay, I think we should be able to get away with this. We'll leave that on there. We can actually also upgrade roads as well. Although we can't upgrade this little itty bitty here. So not a problem. We're not concentrating on that anyway. I like I always get sidetracked. <laughs> That's quite a habit of mine. Like, can we get the train to go in this way? I think we can. Okay, so the train can go this way into the coal mine. So that's going to be okay. So we're going to need to run that from here to here. Not a worry whatsoever. Let's have a look at the tracks. <clears throat> okay, let's run one of the tracks from down here. Uh, I don't really want it to be going through any tunnels. So we run it that way. Sometimes you have to do it in stages for not to create a tunnel. Okay. Let's then run this to about there. See, when you're playing this and you've got money as a concern, you've really got to work out the best route for the train because going uphill, downhill, costs an absolute fortune. Right, can we do this without creating a tunnel or a bridge? So 
slightly uphill there. Yeah, there we go. So, obviously going uphill, that's going to slow the train down a bit, but it would look silly there being a bridge on that little uh, tiny hill there, so I'm happy with that. It's curved into the ground a little bit, but I think that's going to be just fine. Right, so that is good. We've got a line set up between there. We now need to bring in the ore from up here down to here. So let's have a look at this end. We could probably... Uh, any other place that going to need the ore? There is an ore mine down here, so we're going to be okay. We can just add in one... Pl uh, we can add in a terminus point down at this station over here. So let's swing this around. So we can get this... No, that's a good point. We need to have it... So that we're going to have to bring down a line, a road running down here. So we can get it as close as possible. Let's bring the road straight in. Yep, that's going to work. Yeah, that looks fine to me. Okie dokie, right. We can now add in a terminus point. So, probably about there. That's connected. And let's have a look at the tracks here. So this is going to be going quite a way. It's going to be coming all the way down to here. So I guess we run it. Uh, we could do a loop and then come around. Uh, let's run it from this platform over here then. So the lower platform. Uh, that's going to be going this way. Got to be careful not to destroy the, the farm at the same time. Okay. Lovely stuff. Now we'll just have this follow this up. Up to here. Okay, heavy looking. Yeah, looking smooth, looking tidy. Super stuff. Uh, we need. Gotta try and get across the uh, the river here. So we'll bring it up to the road. Like so. And this side. Right, how's that going to look? That's, so that's a pretty small bridge there. So we can change it. We can make it like that, which looks really ugly. Or we could have a bridge like that. Or a bridge that's probably slightly better looking. Oh, we've got quite a few actually. Oh, look at that. That is, that is something else. I'll tell you what, I like that. I'd like to make the... I'd like to make it a little bit higher though, I think. So let's... Let's, uh, let's raise... Let's raise the, uh, the, the, the track up before we get there. Okay, so I've tweaked a few bits and pieces about and... Uh, come up with something like this. I think that looks alright. I can't get rid of this bit in the middle here. But I think that looks pretty okay. I might try once again once more just after the uh, the video. But I think that looks alright. That looks pretty, pretty cool. So the train has got a fair way to go to be honest. But we are pretty much set up now for this. We just need to run it from here 
Uh, no, I tell you what, we yeah, we need to run it from here into this station over here. Um, we are gonna need we're gonna need an extra platform on here. Okay, that is excellent. Right, we need to finish up and do a line from yeah here to here. So that's going into that platform. This one's going into this one. So we need to set one up from this platform over here. Now instead. Actually, this one's going to be going across the, uh, the water as well. So we're going to need to sort this out. So we've made a few changes whilst We've been off camera behind the scenes. We have finished the bridge. That, that is epic. That is such a cool looking bridge. Really, really, really nice. I absolutely love what I've done here. <laughs> yeah, give myself a pat on the back there. So yeah, I'm really happy with this. This is uh, looking like a brilliant, brilliant series. Really, really cool. I've made quite a few bits and pieces. I've sorted quite a lot of this stuff out to try and keep the episode down. Uh, so we've finished the coal, we've finished the ore line going down to the steel. The steel, uh, so the coal also goes to the steel and the steel then goes over the bridge through into the machines factory. And then from the machines factory, we go into London. Uh, and give the uh, the people of London all of their needs for the machinery part. So we're, we're, we're done. We are there. Let's uh, click the play button here. And uh, we're going to see all the trains coming out of the stations. I've added in a couple more different variants of trains. But I've kept most of them the same. We've got the, the uh, Great Western Railway there. It's got a front and back to this train. Because I wanted to save some of the, the other variants for the other trains further down the line. We've got the inner city one back here again. I've added two to this one. It's going to be quite a heavy, heavy uh, load shoving it from all the way up here to there. Bit of an incline. So we gave it two engines there basically just to give it a bit more steam. I wonder if that's the correct length for... The, car the, uh, the platform there. There should be another train coming out. Yep, so that's going to be waiting for this train to come out. Yeah, where it goes. I'll put up some traffic lights there. So they're going to be picking up the coal. They're going to be taking it over to this place over here. This train is now coming in. That is transporting the ore from all the way up here. So that's got a heck of a line. I love that view. Choo choo! That's so freaking cool. Uh, that's going to be coming from the depot up here, and that's going to be having to make its way down to here and then work itself back up again because I couldn't get a direct link from this station onto the platform. Where it goes. So that's going to be bringing in the goods into here. What does it have on? It's got nothing so far. Okay, so it's still waiting for the materials from here to be brought down to here. But you can see plenty of wood down here. They haven't received any steel yet. Uh, this is the steel train. So it's probably going to work its way through. Yeah, here we go. So it's starting to creep up. They're going to start making... No, it doesn't come from there, does it? They're bringing in the woods. Steel is coming in. Okay, so we're going to be... We're going to have to wait for the steel to uh, slowly build up here. So there's a bit of a delay because we're waiting for the ore to come in. 
and the coal to come in. So, yeah, it's going to take a little bit of time, but we get there. We've got coal coming in. I'll have a little look after the video to make sure everything is running fine. But I think we have done a pretty successful uh, first episode there. Really, really enjoyed this first episode of this new series. So that's uh, going to conclude. Uh, we're going to concentrate on probably getting as much. We'll probably get the food in. We'll sort out the food next time. We'll try and clear as much of up here as we can. Might add in a little passenger train line through here as well. Through like the Euro Tunnel sort of thing. That'd be awesome. We'll link up Birmingham through to London. London to Leeds. Leeds to Birmingham. We'll do like a train system going around the cities as well. Oh, this is going to be really, really cool. Let's see if we can get this video up to 10 likes. Let me know if you're enjoying the series thus far. Uh, any ideas on bits and pieces we can do? Let me know in the comments. That'd be awesome. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Don't forget, let's get this one to 10 likes. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.